welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my best friend Maddie. If you guys don't already know her, uh, what are you doing? Today we are going to let you guys get to know her better a little bit and also know how long we've known each other and how well we know each other, which is gonna be a really great time. So we're gonna do the best friend tag. We have a series of questions here that we're gonna be asking each other and then I'm going to write down my answer on this and she's gonna write down her answer and then we'll say them and then flip to see if we got them right. Does that make sense? Did I say that right? My question is, am I writing what I think yours is? You're Mine writing is. what yours is. Oh. So it's like, okay, my biggest pet peeve. I'm going to write my biggest pet peeve on here. Okay, okay, okay. Then we're going to go like this, and then I'm going to say, okay, what's my biggest pet peeve? You're going to tell me what you think it is. I'll turn it around, and if it's right, then I it's right. I don't even think I know. You don't know my biggest pet peeve? Yeah. Well, I got a bunch of them, so just pick something. I know, that's the issue. Let's get this started. Question number one is biggest pet peeve. So I write my biggest pet peeve. Your biggest pet peeve. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, don't look. Ready. I literally am not looking at all. You're really like hugging that book though. Whoa. Madison. Your biggest pet peeve. What is my biggest pet Anything peeve? Anything that has to do with holes. You hate when people like send you pictures of holes, like skin that holes. Is. That is, okay, but is that a pet peeve or is that like your um, phobia? You hate. It's a phobia. But phobia is not one of our questions. Do you want to try again? Your biggest pet peeve is when I'm the last one. Oh the my enemy, God, I saw that. <laughs> You guys, every single time I stay the night at her house. No, she, not every single yes, time. Yes, pretty much. No, a lot every of the single. Times. No, it was like twice. It was like three times, and one time we actually got in a pretty good fight, and I pushed her off the bed. <laughs> Even if I'm like slowly walking slowly, and I'm out I just to like get jump. in the bed, she will jump on the bed and be like, mm, "You're the last one in bed. You had to turn the lights off when you just walked by the door. You could." I turn hate off. walking to my bed in the dark. It's so dumb. It was like twice or thrice maybe, but like it was hilarious. Okay, well that is obviously a, one of my biggest pet peeves because clearly I can. She got heated about, about it. Did you hear that? But yeah. the one that I have written down on my paper is when I'm watching a movie with someone and they're on their phone. Yeah, I avoided that really? answer because I kind of knew that you hated that, but I don't have the attention span to watch movies. Yeah, no. I either fall asleep or I go on my phone. Okay, what do you think mine is? Your biggest pet peeve is when we're hanging out with friends and they're on their phones. Yeah. She will make us put our phones in the middle and we can't touch them. Yeah, I put when people touch my feet or touch me with their feet or when <laughs> yeah. people are on their phones at an outing during a combo. I think it's just disrespectful and rude. All right, favorite ice cream flavor. Your favorite ice cream flavor? No, you write down yours. Oh, okay. I'm writing down mine. I know, I'm like, do you even have a favorite ice cream flavor? This will be one you just don't get the answer to. Yeah, I don't think I will, but... You have one that you love all the I time. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I didn't think of one yet. That's okay. I just know your favorite brand, and I know if I get you that brand, then you're probably going to like it. But I know there is one specific brand that you... or the flavor that you don't like of that brand. Shabba da bobo. Okay, I'm ready. Alright. You're gonna guess first this time, or am I gonna guess first? Um, I can guess first. I'll try okay. to guess what yours is. Okay, favorite ice cream. Um, yours is probably something with like chocolate chunks or something. Okay, so something I put, chocolate. if we're getting soft serve, I like vanilla. Okay, I knew that. And then I put the caramel cookie kind from the gelato brand yep. or whatever it's called in the yep. winter. But then in the summer, I like sherbet. Yes, I knew you like, because you always get that when you go to Big Dipper, don't you? Yeah, Big Dipper or, or um, Baskin Robbins. I always yeah. get like the daiquiri ice. Okay, your favorite ice cream is either cookie dough or mint chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Yep. And favorite color. I have no idea what your favorite color is. So I write is. mine down? Yes. Okay. I'm ready to guess yours. Friend, what's my favorite color? Black. It's black. What's my favorite color? Pink. Can you see that? Can you I see that? I picked a pink marker to do this. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, when's my birthday? Do I sit? Yeah. Do I write mine down? Write yours down. Okay. Not mine. You write yours. Okay. Okay. Your birthday is September 15th, 1998. Good job. And your birthday is August 27th, 1998. <laughs> We're not even keeping score. Okay, well, let's see. It's not about winning, it's just about having fun, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, what is our favorite season? So I write mine down? Yes. Okay. Hmm, I have no clue what yours is. I have so no weird. clue what yours is. This is wild. This is just crazy. This is crazy. Okay, what's my favorite season? Fall. Yep. What's, what's my, my favorite, favorite season? season? Summer. We must be best friends. What's my middle name? 
And what's your middle name? Is it bad that sometimes I forget if it has one N or two N? Yeah. Sometimes I forget how to spell yours. Did you just write mine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Was I not supposed You're to? You're writing yours. Oh, that's right. Hold on, okay. Your middle name is Nicole. What's yep. mine? Lynn. Yep. And mine does have one in. I know, that's how I wrote it. H. That's how I wrote it. Yeah. And then I had to... You did that? You finessed that. that I did. Good. I wasn't going to waste a piece of paper. Okay, favorite sit-down restaurant. I feel like I know yours, but I feel like I got it really cold on my teeth. I don't even know if I know mine. I'm going to make a list of them. And if I just get one right, then it's right. Okay, my favorite sit-down restaurants are... Remember, these are like local places in Montana. We're not doing like my favorite out of state because no. I have difference. I have different That ones. was, yeah. Okay, okay, what's mine? You love hibachi at Wild Ginger. I do. All the time. Wild Ginger's the shit. What's mine? Okay, I was gonna say either Wild Ginger or I was gonna put like Walkers. Oh, Chow Mambo, potentially, mm -hmm. Chow Mambo. So you think Wild Ginger, Chow Mambo, Walkers? Uh-huh. I put if I want sushi, Wild Ginger. Okay. If I want Italian, Chow Mambo. Perfect. A lunch, lunch bam. bam. Breakfast, Breakfast sassy biscuit. biscuit. What is our biggest fear? Should I write mine? You write yours. I write mine. Your biggest fear is getting kidnapped. Mm -hmm. So getting kidnapped or getting murdered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, your biggest fear is not being enough, but in a way where like you leave this earth and you didn't leave a big enough impact on people's lives. Okay. Is that one of That's them? That's it? That's what you got? I don't know what is it. Thank face. I put wishing I would have done more, said yes, or taken the opportunity, or dusty butterflies. Oh, I know dusty butterflies. <laughs> if your house was on fire, what would you grab? If it's on fire and you have the option to grab one thing. Yes. <laughs> you read your heart. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> wow, I wrote Fred. Um, so silly. <laughs> it's like I have to be reminded every single time. Okay, Maddie, what is your love language? I'm gonna need you to write yours on the paper, and I will write mine on my okay, paper. Okay, write mine on the paper. Yes. <laughs> Courtney's love language. Yes. What is my love language? Gosh. Your love language is definitely like gift giving, mm -hmm. but I think you're also a quality timer. Yep. Yeah. I said quality time touch. Isn't that one like mm -hmm. touch, physical touch? Physical touch. Yep. Gifts. But this is a weird thing. I don't like physical touch from like anybody else. It's only like if I were to have a significant other. That's really funny because you have different love languages like within friendships. Right. Within, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I okay. separated mine. Okay. What do you think mine are? Um, definitely quality time. Mm -hmm. I think words of affirmation is one. Yeah, I don't know. It probably I didn't write that one, but I've been be... struggling with that one lately. I think it's been shifting because I feel awkward with compliments lately. Like I don't feel like I was I know gonna how say to maybe that's that. another thing where it'd be like if it was your significant other like yeah. hyping you up, being mm -hmm. like, Oh my god, you look beautiful today. Yeah. It's like different that way than it is versus like your family or your yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got. What okay. Those? So oh. for my friends, it's quality time without yeah. a doubt. And like in a romantic relationship, it's quality time, physical touch, and acts of service. Like someone okay. actually like acting. Yeah. The part. Making an effort. Making an effort. Yeah. Cool. So we were kind of similar. Yeah. Mm hmm. Cool. Boo. Go to drink at a bar. So you write yours. I write mine. I write mine and you write yours. Correct. It'd be funny if they're the same. Okay, like so I think your drink at Hooligans, your go-to drink, I feel like is a mule. Is it or no? It can be a mule. I was like, just say your But it's one. always a margarita too. Oh, you know me and your, my uh, strawberry or jalapeno margaritas. I was gonna say jalapeno margaritas. Strawberry yeah. jalapeno margaritas are my thing. Okay, and then um, Dukes, I put Malibu orange juice. Yeah. Okay, what's mine? Hooligans. Um, Hooligans and Moscow Mule. And then what's my Dukes? You literally also get a Malibu orange juice every time we go. I do. I really do. Mm -hmm. We don't go there often, so don't get it twisted. Yeah, no. We don't go there anymore. Or Hooligans. <laughs> Ugh. Honestly, we quit going out so much. It was definitely a thing when we were 21, but I'm over it. I'm just not a fan of like, you want to come over and have a good time and have some drinks and play some card games? Let's freaking go. Yeah. Where are you going? I just got really cold. I needed a blanket. Oh my God. Oh, I know what animal I would be. You do? I know one animal that you should be. Cause I go, <laughs> it's a fucking donkey. I don't know if it is. Is the next one animal? Yes. Okay, so the next one is, if you could be an animal, what animal would it be? So I write what animal I would be. Correct. 
What animal would I be? You'd be a monkey, bro. A monkey? Why would I be a monkey? You're just like, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, You're ah. just wild. All the time, I am really wild. wild. like a monkey. Or you'd be like a cheetah or something like that. Ooh, just a badass with a mm -hmm. cheetah wanted to do the wild. Oh, yeah. Well, I put koala bear. <laughs> okay, that's new. That's I think it's just because I like koala bears and I think they're super cute and yeah. cuddly. Okay. Okay. Yours. I feel like you would be a sloth. I'm just kidding. I don't know. A flamingo, a peacock, an owl. Why? Okay, so for my first animal, I put a butterfly. That's an insect. So then I also put an elephant. Why would you be an elephant? You know how much I love elephants. Like how I do peaceful know that. they are. Like, where's your one? You literally have an elephant. I did in my closet. Me? I put it away when the cleaners came and I never accidentally, like, never took oh my it out. God, it should be on your desk. An insect. She puts an insect. I love butterflies, bro. Favorite holiday. Do we have the same favorite holiday? Oh, no. I know what yours is. Right, yours. Not mine. Your favorite holiday is Christmas. Your favorite holiday is your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's like my favorite holiday for anyone. Can came to Christmas! Favorite time of day. Right, yours. Okay. I'm writing like stories on every one of these, you know? Okay, your favorite time of day is morning. Correct. Mm -hmm. Morning, I put a little sunshine in. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. It's copyrighted by Kylie Jenner. I know. I'm just kidding. Your favorite day, I think, is like midday, afternoon-ish. Huh. So my favorite time huh. of day is morning. Really? When I actually get up. Yes, because I Because you get do your up, affirmations. And I write do your my journal. journal and my affirmations your gratitude. and my gratitude. And it's peaceful. Yep. But I'm also a fan of night because that's when I'm most productive. So you like all day, any time of day. How old were we when we had our first kiss? Can I put like grade wise? Or do we I can do grade because okay. I know the grade and I don't know how old it was. I don't know the numbers grade. like at any grade. You yours. had your first kiss in, I write it. You write yours. When did okay. you have yours? What grade were you in? Why were you writing a story? It's literally what grade were you? <laughs> um, like, oh, this time of day I was walking down the street with so and so <laughs> and it was a bet, so I kissed him. In yours was like grade. eighth grade. It was your seventh? Yeah. Okay, mine was seventh too. In seventh grade? Uh huh. Really? Yeah. Okay, what is our shoe size? I write my shoe size. Correct. <laughs> your shoe size is an eight. Yours is a seven and a half. Correct know each other so well so well except you didn't know my favorite time of day that was kind of weird, that weird. weird. Well, we <laughs> that's because it's the whole damn day i don't even think you knew <laughs> okay if you could go anywhere in the world right now where would you go right now right now like the next place i want to visit correct like, out if, of, yep anywhere anywhere in the country anywhere. out of the country mm -hmm. Yours would probably be like big city. You love big city, so you love like New York. Okay. But if you were thinking like oceany, mm -hmm. I bet you'd probably go to like Hawaii. Maybe you want to go to Bali. I would love to go to Bali. Yeah, that was my favorite thing I in would. the world. Or you'd pick like Paris or something. I picked Paris. Yeah. But I really would love to go to New York. But we're already going to New York. We are I'm in so April. Excited. Um, I think yours would probably be somewhere tropical. I know you want to go to uh, 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 San Diego. Yep. Is that on there? Nope. No, uh huh? Not unrealistic, but not places that I will be in the next year. Okay. Fiji, Australia. Good job, Maldives, Maldives, okay. however you want to say it, yeah. and Australia slash New Zealand. Like, yep. I would definitely make that a whole trip because I could see Australia. Yeah, I sure. could go there and live there. If I could go anywhere during the pandemic to just like go and live and not be where we are, it would be Australia. Cool, okay, I was on the right track. Yeah, you were on the right track. at the end. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, name one thing on your bucket list. So I'll say yours first. Okay. Um, do you want to go skydiving? Good job. Is that on it? Yeah, but it's specific. I'm gonna go skydiving in somewhere tropical. That's literally what I Oh wrote. my god! <laughs> I know you so well. Okay, what's mine? Oh, uh, Paris Fashion Week. Correct. Um, and I also put New York. I'd yeah. be fine with either or. Yeah. Celebrity crush growing up. Growing up? Okay. Write yours. I'm gonna write mine. I have to write mine? Yes. 
your favorite celebrity growing up? I have to say it was probably like Paul Walker. You were obsessed with Fast and Furious. Mm -hmm. Dude, Ugh. no one was more obsessed with those movies than she was. She took me to the movie in the middle of one of the ep Like, I think it was the one Paul Walker had died and yeah. was still like did the first part I or bawled, something. I dude. I was bawling. And it was like sad. It was really sad, but I just like didn't feel the connection because I also hadn't seen any of the other movies. I had the connection. Because I can't do movies. I'm biggest pet peeve. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't do movies. My celebrity crush oh, as a kid. Justin Bieber. Okay, yeah. You would call yourself Maddie Bieber. I wrote all my papers in school, Maddie, Maddie Bieber. Bieber. But also Zac Efron, Troy Bolton, I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge fan of those two, Justin mm. Bieber. He's a cutie now. I'm still obsessed with him. I would, yeah, I would, I would him still like him now. marry him. Mm -hmm. Any day of the week. Okay. Anything, anytime you wanted. So that was back then, but how about now? Who's your celebrity crush Okay, now? ready? Your celebrity crush right now is definitely Chase Claypool. For sure, 110%. Go Steelers. Zac Efron will always have my heart, but honestly, there's someone else okay, right now. I don't know who it is. You'll have to tell me. I really have you don't no idea. don't know who it is? I don't think so. I literally have loved him since he was a contestant on The Bachelor. And I'm not going to I'm know obsessed this. with him. Tyler Cameron, if you ever watch this, Tyler I know you and Cameron. Hannah didn't work out, but like... Is he single right now or does he have somebody in his life? I honestly have this suspicion that him and Hannah are going to get together. They've been making YouTube videos together, mm. but... I just love him. Hey, we're down to our last two questions and I don't think we're gonna write these We're ones already down. down to our last two? Yep. How long have we known each other? I calculated the math for this earlier. I have to You remember. did. I don't know what off the top of my head. We've known each other since first grade. We're celebrating 15 oh, years 15. of friendship this year. Mm -hmm, that's right. How did we meet? meet? How did we meet? How did we meet? Well, first of all, we went to elementary school together. Yeah. I was the new kid, parents freshly divorced, me freshly yep. at a new school. I asked Courtney if she wanted to Play at recess? Was that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. What yep. did I say to you? Run first. And I, oh. I told her how to run. What? No, she didn't tell me how to run. She told me to run. And then I came back from running. You said run to that and back. And I came back and you go, yeah, you run like a girl. We can be friends. <sighs> this just stopped us. Sorry, the SD card just. Was Britain wonky. Really got full. That was really weird. Anyways, back to our story. So yeah, apparently I like made you run. Yeah. Don't remember that. I feel like I feel like it's made up. I feel like you made that up in your head. No, because I remember you telling me that a while back, and I was like, I don't remember that. I just don't remember being one of those girls, but I think I was for a little bit there when I had like those three girls I was hanging around, mm -hmm. and it was like that whole posse we were in. And yeah. I just was a new kid and wanted to be friends with everybody. Yeah. So, with that being said, that's how we met. And we've met every day since. We've met every day since. Well, well guys, I'd say we know each other pretty it. well. I, I hope so. you um, know each other. Nope. I hope you know each other really well. <laughs> I hope you know us a little bit better. Switching things up a little bit real quick because our camera Cards is full. Yeah, the card is full. But anyways, um, that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe oh, down subscribe. below and get with it. Click that button, hashtag get with it. Turn your notifications on.